Constructive and timely feedback is an essential part of effective teaching. With online learning, this process can be a bit more tedious and perhaps time consuming. If you're looking for a fast and easy way to give your students feedback on Google Classroom, then keep watching. I'm going to be sharing with you an awesome add-on that I've been using in Google Classroom in order to add voice message feedback back to my students. This has been such a great thing for reducing the amount of time I'm spending writing feedback and sending feedback back and forth to students. With a voice message, it just cuts down the time that I'm spending typing out the feedback. This extension is super handy, super easy to install and use, and I'm going to be showing you how you can do that next. Okay, in order to access the add-on, you're going to go ahead and enter into the Chrome Web Store and then you're going to search for talk and comment. So this is the add-on that you want to uh, install and I already have it installed so that's why I don't have the option to add it to Chrome. But once you do that and you uh, go ahead and add it to Chrome, you're going to uh, basically um, have this kind of pop-up on your screen and you can turn it on and off depending on whether or not you are using it and um, you know so that it's not kind of like uh, sitting idle in the background so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this add-on um, in order to demonstrate how you can use it in your Google classroom to give feedback as an audio message so now that I have the add-on turned on um, you're gonna see it kind of floating in the right side of your screen here and let's say that I have this essay that was submitted by a student and I want to give some feedback. So um, let's say that I want to give some feedback about this particular session. So I'm going to highlight it just like I would in order to um, add a comment. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to click on the pop up, which is associated with the add on. And right away, you're going to notice that it starts to um, record. So um, it's going to create the voice recording just as or the second that you click on the um, record button and I would leave the voice uh, memo or the voice recording for my student as a, a form of feedback and then when I'm done I would just click OK and as you can see it kind of like creates a link with your voice recording and you're gonna go ahead and just copy the link and paste it where you would uh, normally paste a comment. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on comment. And you'll notice that right away, automatically, it turns your um, uh, basically comment into a voice recording. So let's give this a test. With the and right away, you're going to notice that it starts to um, record. Perfect. So. This way, instead of me typing out, um, you know, extensive feedback, which can be really time consuming, I can really give a customized feedback for the student uh, in a voice note, which is so much faster. And a lot of the times, like when I'm giving feedback, I notice I, I reread it and I'm like, whoa, this kind of sounded harsh because um, when you type things out, it sometimes comes across differently than when you what what you mean it in terms of like a tone. So at least with a voice recording, the student can actually hear your tone. All right, let's look at a different way that you could use this add-on. So let's say that you're creating a interactive lesson or a Google slide presentation, and um, you want to add like some form of voiceover or over the slides. Um, or let's say that you want to annotate certain um, parts of your presentation. So for example, let's say that I want the students to be able to hear me read the learning targets. So again, what I would do is I would go ahead and open the, um, or click on the add-on, and right away again, I, I need to be ready to record because it's gonna start recording right away, and I can go ahead and read the learning targets. I can define cell division. I can distinguish between somatic cells and gametes, etc. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the OK button and I'm gonna copy this link. And then what I can do is I can highlight the learning targets and insert, comment, and add my voice memo. And this way, when students are, um, let's say, going through the slide, they can just click on this voice note or the comment and 
the slide will be explained to them. So you can add extra explanations, um, et cetera. And another thing that this is great uh, for is um, the student does not have to be in present mode in order for them to be able to play your voice note, which is great because um, a lot of people with, uh, that have students that use iPads, um, they were having issues with uh, the students being able to kind of um, hear the recording if they use the other traditional method of, of, of recording over a slide. Um, so this is a good way to kind of work around that if you're having issues with students that are using iPads. Another great way that you could utilize this add-on is you could have students use the add-on. You can have them download the add-on and you can have students um, create assignments. So like a um, kind of like a voice memo response to a question rather than them typing it out. And this is great for e-learning because you know that your student you know, answered your question rather than having someone do the work for them, you guarantee it's their voice, you know it's them, and it's a great way to kind of have authentic assessments. This is in the world where poachers go, and one of the most common places is in Africa. Poachers already. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Have a great day.